Hello, this is Coffee News Highlight. Here is Kenneth bringing you the latest updated news. Local news. All religious activities in COVID-19 risk areas in the state have been suspended. Kedah State Islamic Religious Affairs Department Director Muhammad Yusri Muhammad Daud said the mosques involved were from seven districts, namely Kota Seta, Kuala Buddha, Kulim, Balik, Yen, Kubang Pasu and Padang Tera. The mosques were ordered to be shut down. In the national news, profound failure as a leader. Harris, the first black woman on a major party's White House ticket, accused Trump of turning our tragedies into political weapons and urged Americans to vote for Joe Biden. Moving on to business, the ringgit was flat against the US dollar at the close today as cautious sentiment clouded the market ahead of a key speech by US Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell. At 6 p.m., the local currency was quoted at 4.1680 over 1.720 against the greenback from 4.1680 against 1.710. In sports, the backup and professional shuttlers still stand a chance to make the national squad for the men's single event in the Thomas Cup in Aarhus, Denmark in October. National man's single head coach Han Juawan said he and the other coaches will evaluate all aspects including players' current form before making a final decision in mid-September. Entertainment news. After collaborating with the South Korean girl group for their forthcoming single, Ice Cream, Gomez is commemorating her venture into K-pop with a new flavor of ice cream. Surrender BD Brands will release Cookie and Cream remix on Friday, coinciding with the drop of Blackpink and Selena Gomez's highly anticipated ice cream. That's all for the latest news today. Thank you for listening to Coffee News Highlight. Stay tuned and things going better with Coffee FM. Do you truly know your heart? Do you work for money or patient? Are you really happy? Let me open your heart. It's coffee as an full time. Morning. Lighten up your Merdeka spirit by waving your Jalo Gemilang and raise your flag with pride and dignity. Happy 63rd Merdeka and Malaysia Day. Malaysia pre happy. Alright, I hope you all are comfortable as it's time for some pillow talk. I'm your DJ Bowie and let's get started. Wow, suddenly so motivated leh, but I think I very day I'm motivated because I love my job. I feel like I've made people smile with just my voice. Did you smile after listening to my voice? I bet you will. <laughs> Anyways, today we are going to talk about work. Yes, yes. I know you are like, well, wow, so boring. Every day already very bored now. Then now still want listen about work ah. But actually, in every job, there's always something that make us. Go. Like for me, I like to give others a good vibe and an energizing morning. I feel good about it. How about you? Ha, yes, yes, I feel good about it too. Anyways, joining me will be a psychologist from Duke University, Dr. Liu. Let's give him a round of applause. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. So, how are you? Ah, uh, good, good. Please introduce yourself to our audience, will you? Ah, okay. So, okay. Um, my name is Dr. Liu. I'm a psychologist from Duke University. So, I specialize in the studies of people's behavior and mental health in the workplace. Mm, so, you see me then, you can see my work good or not for me lah. <laughs> no, 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 not so easy. Well, we have to look into a lot of aspects. Mm, but I can see you like your job so much. Yeah, I love it. But I'm curious, more curious about what makes you feel so good about your job. Mm, well, I think the passion towards the work is important. Mm, what do you mean by passion? Okay, so I think if you have a passion means you have hard to do it. So no matter how hard you work, then you will still do it then. 
I see. Then how about you? Do you like your work? Yes, yes, of course, of course. You know what's best about my work? What is it? I get to help others. I like it when I'm able to help other people to open their minds and open their thoughts. Yeah, I know, right? After helping people, I got this feeling too, like very high one. <laughs> okay, okay, I see you're an odd one, you know. <laughs> I get that a lot. So, next question. What's feeling good about our work does to us? Mm, okay, I think the bosses would love to hurt this. Okay, so, if we feel good about our work, we have a higher productivity rate. So, we finish our task quicker and we'll have less stress. Oh, what could we do then? Mm, I suggest you use your imagination. My imagination? Uh, okay, so, I mean that, well, you can practice using imagination to like boost your mood and improve your work day. So, before you start your work, Imagine that everything will go smoothly. So, figure out plans to attack your power of work. If it doesn't work out, so take a deep breath <gasps> and plan another way to attack. Also, listen to some music to boost your feel good rate. Ah, I have a good song to boost our productivity. Here are Blinding Lights by The Weeknd, only on Comfy FM. All right, we are back. Yes, welcome back. So, doctor, I've been meaning to ask what is unhealthy for a workplace to have. Mm, well, there are three in the list. So, mm -hmm. okay, firstly is environment, then is the equipment. So, then is office gossip. Mm, I can see your environment and equipment are all here very modern and nice. Uh. Yeah. I especially like this pillow. <laughs> you provide me very comfortable. <laughs> pillow talk ma. I'm glad you like it. Seldom do guests realize it. <laughs> it's the details that counts. No wonder Comfy FM hosts are all very energetic. And beautiful. <laughs> what environment really can boost a person's mood? Mm. I can't disagree with that. By the way, what do you mean with office gossip? Oh, okay, so office gossip, like talking bad about someone is technically not good for a workplace. Mm. It actually affects mental health too. Wow, sounds so serious oh. Yeah, yeah, true, true. So if too many gossip, it will first bring up some trust issue and trust between colleagues are a crucial part to your teamwork. Mm. I assume that you don't have this issue. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't have one. I love my colleagues. We are like a family here. We are no secrets. Ah, wow, wow, wow. Good, good. That's good to hear. Mm, but you mentioned mental health. Mm, what does a bad workplace affect us? Oh, okay. Um, mainly a higher stress compared to a healthy workplace. So stress, in my opinion, is a gateway to more mental health issue. So it can lead someone towards negativity. But how to prevent that? Well, including the things I've mentioned, I think a good meeting where everyone is being able to share their opinion is a plus point too. Ah, oh, so everyone's voice could be heard lah. Yes, 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 you are right, you are right. But actually, I wonder, why should we do this? Ah? Not including mine, but I see those people work in office one, usually very busy. How will they have the time to take these things into consideration? Mm, I think you have applied the theory of being great at your work and forgotten about the feeling good part. Mm. So, many workplaces take great pains to give employees performance goals to clearly show them what they are expected to do. Mm. But we must also make equality to show the employees why their work matters and how it makes a positive differences. Hmm, how to let them know? <laughs> Best thing I've seen so far is, well, um, make up a slogan or a tagline for a workplace. 
slogan you mean like our SM slo- FM slogan <laughs> yeah 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 your FM slogan yes I like it I like it um something like that but for the employees so to remind them of the work we do is making a differences to the modern world mm, I see well don't go anyway I still have a lot of questions to ask you later mm, sure sure ask anyways ask anyways we'll be back after this short break A power? What are you talking about? Here, try this. Whoa, I feel much stronger already. Power Choco, now with caramel flavor. Rich flavorful with protein from locality sauce ingredients. Drenched in special caramel sauce for your everyday energy. Mmm, the only Only one one you you need. need. Power Power Choco. Choco! This is Apple Orange TV series. The new must exist now and then I change. Those three hundred thousand have a chance to get an iPhone 30. Only for three days. Get it now. Orange TV. Bring your senses extra life. And welcome back to Pillow Talk. So, Doctor, what makes us feel good about our work? Ah, that's the multi-million question, eh? Of course, everyone wants to know what makes them feel good about their work. Mm, I believe in every type of work, there are always something that makes us feel good. Mm. So, whenever it's for the money or for the passion, it depends on our mentality. So I think the higher the pay, the higher the responsibility. Yeah. Mm, but it's not entirely bad. Like the more responsibility means that you are very important to your company. So many people think, I have so many work, very tired, very stressed. But if you think of as it's important, you feel gratitude. That is how to make us feel good about our work. So you mean gratitude is the key factor? Yes, yes, yes. So, okay, other than that, mm, higher ups could once in a while show appreciation towards your employee. So, like, even a simple thank you will make someone's day, you know. Yeah. I always say thank you to my helpers back at the thank university. You. <laughs> like that, you will lock them in so they won't change their job, is it? Uh, no, no, no. That's not my intention. Although, if they stay, it would be great. Mm. But I just think that if someone does a good job, it's their right to receive the appreciation that they deserve. So, like, maybe can have a party for the month. Happy and they are more willing to come to work. Oh. But so, how can they make themselves feel good about their work? Ah? Like entrepreneurs. Oh, entrepreneurs. Mm, I suggest making a schedule for yourself. Set yourself a time to work and time to rest. You can't work all day and have no time to rest, right? Yeah, I think oh, rest is always the most important thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And being self-employed means that you have more time, like you can control your time. So it's the ideal job to have your time scheduled nicely. Yeah, I always work out whenever I have some free time. I find jogging to be great. Always refreshing after my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exercising. Ah, okay, so it actually helps a lot. I jog around whenever I have something going on my mind, like something boggling me. So other than going for an exercise, I usually wake up earlier and have a great breakfast. I think the first meal always seals the deal. So of course, do not indulge yourself or else you will be more tired and physically unhealthy. So any tips for our listener out there? Mm-hmm. My secrets are uh, revealed already. <laughs> We're gosh, you got more wonder. Mm, okay, well, I suggest that you make a list that um, put on what you like and what you dislike about your job. So then cross out the part that could be compromised and parts that you must have. 
Then report to our boss. Ah. <laughs> and no, no, no. It's just to evaluate your current workplace only. <laughs> so if you don't feel comfortable with your work, why not talk to someone? Maybe you could find your true passion or find the motivation to work again. Mm, I find that talking is the best way to release your stress. True. Never keep your feeling inside. When uncomfortable, always find someone to talk about it. Um, I think you will feel better after that for sure. Yeah, you are right. You are right. So, is there anything you want to add? Um, what I want to say is, like, mental health is very important aspect that people mostly forget about it. Yes. So, stress is like something that is accumulated. So, if you don't feel good about your work, it could like add on some extra pressure and you don't want that to stress yourself and add on the stress that you currently have. So, try to take a break once in a while, like have a drink and walk around your office and if you are feeling stressed, talk to someone. And I believe that every type of workplace has its perks. It depends on how someone perceives it. Oh, I see. I the sponsor for our show, Nice Tea Cereal. Oh. Now they have a new avocado flavor available. Let's hear it from our sponsor. Oh my god, what are you eating? I'm eating the cereal with avocado flavor. What? Have I heard wrongly? Avocado flavor cereal? Yes, but it is very delicious. Can I have one bite? I'm so hungry. Please. Nah, let you eat. Wow, this tastes good. I didn't realize that cereals can be so tasty. Of course, quickly go and grab the self one. It is nicely the new avocado flavor cereals. Nicely cereals nice for you. You won't regret to get this cereal everywhere, every time. Mm, a bowl of cereal is sure a good way to start a day, isn't it, doctor? Yes, for sure, for sure. By the way, we have received letters from several viewers about their troubles and at work. Hope, doctor, you can give them some tips. We'll open the time for some Q&A sessions here. No problem, just us. I also hope that I'm able to help them. So here is our first question. Mm. The audience asked that, what should he do if he dislikes his job? Should he just quit up or and not worrying about money? Mm, in reality, I suggest that you work through and you have enough saving so that you can only then, alright, you can consider changing the job you dislike. But most importantly, follow your passion. Yeah, follow your heart. Mm. Well, the second audience say that he's a newcomer in the workplace because he has no experience and has been bullied by his colleague. Mm. What's more, he even encountered a situation of stealing his credit. Oh, mm, well, it's not rude that will always be such people in the workplace who always like steal your credit after your work is done. Yes. So if your boss or leader does not understand the progress of your work, then I will put it in a way that on how to prevent this from happening. Okay, so to prevent this, you better communicate with your leader, like um reports your progress to your leaders and and tell your leaders about your problem that you encounter like all the details of the work and the results that you achieve so after the leader knows your work well it is not easy for others to take credit from you wow what a great suggestion it seems i have to take notes <laughs> here is another question this audience is the is in the catering industry mm -hmm. mm. she and another colleague joined the company at the same time but shortly after joining the company this colleague began to give her order and thinking that she is her subordinate she hopes that doctor can give her some advice Mmm, wow, that sounds crazy. Yes, really. Yeah, so there are some people who are not your superior, but you'll find, they'll find a way to like give you orders about doing something beyond, beyond your scope of responsibility or even string his own subordinate work to you. Hmm, well, I suggest that you better clarify where your job responsibility lies on and then 
Mm, think about the way to push off these jobs, like for people who are arrogant, furious, and have a bad temper. Mm, they must be calm to express their position in a way better manner. So it is suggested to express their ways in. Mm, I'm busy with this matter right now. So oh, the deadline for my work is about to do. So so sorry too, but I'm gonna decline you. So. If you are too entangled, then you should consider whenever to help your to ask your leader to help solve it. Wow, what a deep topic! I also learned something from it. By the way, thank you, doctor, for joining this talk <laughs> show. Okay, okay, you are welcome. Yeah. My pleasure. My <laughs> pleasure. I sure surely believe that everyone out there will be able to find something good about their work. And that's all for today, Pillow Talk. Thanks to Dr. Liu for his wise words, mm. and thank you for tuning in. Till next time, I'm DJ Bowie. Stay Goodbye. tuned with things going better with Comfy FM. Goodbye. Goodbye. When your legs don't work like they used to before, and I can't sweep you off of your feet. Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheek? Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. Baby,